in this morning's Health Watch, secret salt. 90% of Americans eat too much salt and with most consuming twice the recommended amount. The FDA is now thinking of setting limits on the amount of sodium allowed in processed food, for instance. And our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to show us how to shake, get it, shake the salt habit. Dr. Ashton, good morning. Good morning, Harry. What is the, now we talk about this a lot, but we should go back to the beginning and talk about why salt can be very dangerous. So salt is a very essential electrolyte in the body. It the, makes up the majority of the blood, and our body needs salt. It's mm -hmm. not all bad like so many other things. Yeah. But If you get cut and you taste the blood. Your blood you tastes taste salty, salt. and your sweat obviously right. is made up of salt. But what happens in the body is that water follows every molecule, molecule of salt. So if you ingest a lot of salt, mm -hmm. you will then retain a lot of water. And for people with kidney problems, mm. heart problems, high blood pressure, right. that can actually be dangerous. And in fact, a recent study in the New England Journal of Medicine estimated that 150,000 American lives could be saved wow. every year right. if we Just lighten reduced. up on the salt. Just reduced. So this is not a joke. And is it all about the salt shaker? It's actually not. You know, a lot of us say, well, I don't add salt to my food, so I must not have to worry about mm -hmm. this. Not so, because actually, first of all, if you look at the recommended daily amounts, because that puts it into context, okay. how over it we are. Mm -hmm. 1,500 milligrams a day is what we're supposed to get. Right. Most of us, the average American, gets more than twice that amount, 3,400 milligrams. Oy. And Harry, it's coming from hidden sources, things right. you would not expect, which we have a couple of examples uh, of. You know what, this is very interesting, because there are a couple of things, having done this segment before, I said, well, I know this. There are things in here that surprised me. You didn't even know, right? Me. Yes. So let's go through it. Cottage cheese, mm -hmm. about a cup, has almost 900 milligrams of sodium in it. A bagel, you don't think you're ingesting salt when you right. have your breakfast. Sure. Again, about a third of what you should have every day. Right. Then my favorite whole grain cereal like Raisin Bran. Because you're thinking, oh, this is so good for me. One I'm cup. having it with skim milk. Exactly. One cup has about 400 milligrams. One Shh. serving of salad dressing, right. Harry, yeah. about three to 400. But, but when you get into this, though, any kind of processed food any kind of That's processed right. food is going to be laden with salt. Packaged food, processed food, right. restaurant pre pre prepared food. But Harry, even if you cook at home, mm -hmm. things like tomato sauce on top of your nice pasta you think you're eating healthily, right. loaded with salt, and prepared chicken can actually be injected with a salt solution to oh. make it appear more plump, Ooh. filled Ooh. with sodium. Okay, so how do you cut sodium out of your diet? A couple of things, and this bears mention again and again. You want to eat more fresh foods mm -hmm. and eat fewer or less processed foods. Obviously, as we've said today, you want to limit your use of condiments, things like tomato sauce, salad dressing, in limited amounts, mm -hmm. and use more herbs and spices to kind of retrain your taste your buds palate, sure. so that you don't say, this is horrible, because remember, Harry, at the end of the day, you want your food to taste good, but you want to be healthy at the same time. Good idea. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you very you much. Bet.